my dreams coming when true. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right. Yo, what's poppin' to the Katie and it's your boy. Supreme Kelly, man, we back in the cup with some more news updates. Now, oh, real, drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. How many likes y'all want to get it to? Only because we live as niggas doing this. All my videos are authentic. I bring that real information. I never just throw nothing up here for views, my nigga. We just keep it real. Ain't no other channels doing it like this. Now, look, oh, real, we got my boy NBA Youngboy. I ain't did a, um, a video about NBA Youngboy besides outside of the reaction videos in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a news channel. I ain't DJ Academics. I ain't DJ Ghost. I ain't none of them, bro. I don't do the news stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boys see me up be like, bro, tell us about this. So I'll let y'all up and let y'all know what I know. And we go from there. Now, look, I dug into it. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all boys wanted to know a little bit about it. Now, NBA Youngboy, if y'all don't know, bro, was on probation, right? He had a three, a 10-year suspended sentence with three years of probation, which means... They gonna give him 10 years if he fuck up in three years. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna give you three years to mess up. If you mess up within those three years, you get 10 years off top. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. You know what I'm saying? You get 10 years. But we gonna give you three years outside here to mess up, right? So NBA Youngboy was on probation. Then a video came out. A bro in the hallway in a hotel room with Jania. They was pulling each other, whatever was doing. They was saying who had more strength, who could pull who. You know what I'm saying? She was saying that he was just pulling me. That's how we play in the jails like BS. You know what I'm saying? It looked like a round of SmackDown in there. You know what I'm saying? It looked like bro was trying to chastise you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So basically, they saying he violated his probation, which I'm not going to try to defend that. Even though they said the probation was just like him staying out of the, staying out away from guns and vi and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? That would be considered violent, okay? You know what I'm saying? He's not supposed to have a weapon and stuff like that. So basically, he violated his probation. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be getting ten years, right? But somehow he finessed his way out of getting ten years. The his team or the people that was representing him, his lawyer and stuff like that, they were saying, bro, please don't let NBA young boy go to jail. You know what I'm saying? His record label, they get saying he got a career, they got money behind him and all type of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So basically he dodged the 10 years. She was like, okay, we'll let you, you, you don't got to get the 10 years, but we got some rules and regulations that you got to abide by while you outside. You know what I'm saying? So basically he's still on probation. I don't know if it's the same little three year thing or, it, or he even got more at it. You know what I'm saying? But this probation, bro, is really like it's really like you would rather take time, not the 10 years, but you would rather be free and just knock out your time, get it out the way like Kodak did. You know what I'm saying? I seen DJ Academy say that like Kodak said, I'll sit in jail for a year. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can get off my back when I get out. Y'all ain't got to be breathing down my neck. What Kodak do? He lighting up a blunt? He got a toolie on him? You know what I'm saying? I sit in jail and get my time out the way. Young boy, he, on a different, he in a different situation. You sit in jail, you sitting there for 10 years. Kodak only got a year. You know what I'm saying? So he took that year. You you probably don't want to take that 10, so you're going to try to put up with what they're giving you. But the stuff they giving him, bro, first they told him he can't be on social media. You know what I'm saying? Then they told him he can't be around Ben. You know what I'm saying? Then they told, Now they telling him he can't leave Louisiana, bro. Now they telling him he can't leave New Orleans. He must reside in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Baton Rouge and New Orleans, bro, if I'm not mistaken, them not the same spots. You know what I'm saying? He must reside in New Orleans. He can't leave outside of New Orleans. Then they got some more rules and regulations that he must abide by, and I'm finna tell them to y'all. Now look, they got no social media posting, which we already knew. They got must reside in New Orleans, must enroll in a GED program. If you don't know what that means, if you didn't graduate high school, GED is basically like a lower version of a diploma. You know what I'm saying? They got, basically it's just like, they gonna give you a test and see what you know. You gotta know this, basically. Like, you have to know this. This ain't no pass or fail, it's stuff like, you gotta know this to get in, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's a little search it up, bro. Then we got complete a domestic violent program with greater Baton Rouge services. So basically, that's just like doing community service. You got to, I had some like that, I had a decision making class before, you know what I'm saying? He got to commute. And the domestic violence program, bro, that's obviously because of the situation he had with Jania. You know what I'm saying? This is just stuff I'm letting y'all know that the judge told him he had to do, but don't, dude, just hold on. We got more coming, my nigga. This, this is all the stuff that he has to do and follow their rules while he outside for three years, probably. Three years, you know what I'm saying? If even if they didn't add more time, because I don't know if they added more time, they probably added more time. He is either do this or take 10 years in prison. What you think he gonna do? You know what I'm saying? But it's really like not even fair. I don't see how somebody could tell you you can't post on social media. Like, what power do you have to tell a nigga not to post on social media? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was me, nigga, I have fake it, which I probably think he do. Cause there's so many young boy accounts floating around with hundreds of thousands of followers. I just be hiding behind one of these other pages, my nigga on social media doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, look, we gonna continue going on with what you got. Have a GPS monitor installed. 
So that's basically like the ankle monitor. You know what I'm saying? The GPS, GPS ankle monitor, all the same thing. If you just seen it, he got a couple videos that be floating around on Instagram. I don't know how niggas be getting them. You know what I'm saying? We got an ankle monitor on. He was just shooting a music video. So basically, the GPS is keeping up, keeping track with him where he going. When you got the ankle monitor on, you got to be in a house at a certain time, certain places you can go, certain distances you go. You got to charge your leg every damn day. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot that you got to do. And then we got to do not leave the state for at least six months. That really, you, do not leave the state for at least six months is really like, it don't make no sense because you just said he has to reside in New Orleans. So that's kind of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of the same thing, bro. Like, not leaving New Orleans, not leaving the state. It's the same damn thing. You feel me? It's a undergo counseling. Now, honestly, I feel like they just throwing stuff on this list just to be controlling. You feel me? Just to have power over over this nigga life. You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm still stuck on the can't post on social media. Can't be around Jania. Can't be around Ben. How you going to take people away from a nigga, bro? How you going to take this man? How you going to tell this man he can't be around his girl? How you going to tell this man? Now, Ben, I understand. Okay, they do do stuff like that. You can't be around this person if you get out such and such and such. If niggas go to jail together, they be like, you can't be around him when you get out. Cool. But you going to tell me he can't be around his girl? You know what I'm saying? Hey, if she ain't follow a restriction order, you know what I'm saying? She must, whatever they had going on, she must like being pulled. Let them do them, bro. You feel me? So, I don't agree with that either. Complete a community service work with the New Orleans Commission. Now, look. Community, that's just like going to the, uh, the little, what, what's the class called? A domestic violence program. Like I said, it seems like they just adding all type of stupid stuff on here. Complete a community service, but a domestic violence class should be considered community service. You know what I'm saying? But that's not they not gonna they not gonna count it as that. Community service Chris Brown had that a lot where he had to go out there and clean up for the community, go out there and pick up trash and stuff like that. I had community service hours before, so I know how it go. You know what I'm saying? It's a refrain from any bars or clubs, which means he can't go to bars or clubs. You know, he can't go out and enjoy stuff like that, which. That's something he can do anyway. He got the ankle monitor on. In certain places he can go. Certain things he can do. They really got him on lock with the GPS thing. Not being, not leaving. You feel me, New Orleans? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna speak on it in a minute. Now this, this is what else she just said. It's a lot more, bro. Now look. During the hearing, his, um, his team, his, his management, the people that's behind him, Atlantic, all type of people. They was like, bro, NBA young boy cannot reside in New Orleans. He got a tour. He got to go make his money. You know what I'm saying? He got to go leave and go to these states and go do these shows and, and collect his bag, his back end, his front end, which is basically his legal money, his career, what he didn't worked up to. It's a lot of people want to work up and get in that spot where they can go perform and make their money the legal way. You know what I'm saying? So they told the judge that he got 12 different states or wherever to go, 12 shows. You know what I'm saying? She granted this man access to three, three out of 12. You know what I'm saying? So that's nine shows, nine checks that he missing out on because she only let him go to three. And the reason she let him go to three is because they based in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? So basically she's saying, you can't leave Louisiana. I don't care about your other shows. Either take these three or take none. You know what I'm saying? So this is the three that she granted him access to. She told him he can go to Lafayette, New Orleans, and Monroe. All of them is based in Louisiana. So basically you ain't leaving out. You know what I'm saying? Now. The reason I want to disagree with this is because, okay, you took away his girl. You took away the posting on Instagram. Took away his homeboy. You took away his freedom, basically. You know what I'm saying? And now you're telling this man he got to stay in this violent area where you know he ain't safe, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this is the state he grew up in. You always most hated at the state you grew up in. We talking about NBA young boy, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, the nigga that's so he 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 cocky, you feel me? Like so, what you think? What you think people thinking in his state? Oh yeah, we we gonna catch him while he here. You feel me? So basically, you keeping him in this violent area, take his legal money away from him, take his like he said, my happiness forever took, take his girl away from him, take his homeboys away from him, and just leave him out here in 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 you feel me in New Orleans, cause the money that he's sitting on now is probably a lot, but he got he got to sit here for three years. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and as they saying you got you can't leave the state for six months, but you just said he had to resign in New Orleans. How long is that? You feel me? Like, I'm still stuck on how you taking away this dude legal money. You telling him he can't go do his shows? That's legal money. You telling him he has to stay in New Orleans? What money is in New Orleans besides un unlegal money? You know what I'm saying? They know what they doing. It's a setup, bro. You feel me? They trying to leave him in a violent environment. 
let me get this off my screen. They're trying to leave him in a violent environment, an unsafe environment. Took away all, took away his homegirl, his homeboys. Now they taking away his legal money. Took away his rights and his freedom. Told him he can't get on social media. Tell him he can't go here. You got to keep a GPS on you. We got to know your every move. And the only reason she doing this is because she not a fan of his music. Woman, that's your ears. You know what I'm saying? We ain't a fan of everything, my nigga. I don't walk around here listening to Tim McGraw all day. I don't walk around here listening to Kanye West all day. I'm not a fan of Kanye West music. You're gonna say you're not gonna be a fan of everybody music, my nigga. You're talking about because it it's too violent. That's your ears, woman. What are you talking about it's too violent. Drake too soft. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what you saying? Like, you feel me? Like, I, I hate the fact that judges can make these decisions because she feel like his music too violent. It's not for you, woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, he not making music for you. <laughs> you feel me? Obviously, the nigga doing something right. He making millions. You feel me? Millions of fans worldwide. So somebody like it is not for you to like, which is what I don't get. You know what I'm saying? Only because I don't like his music, he has to resign New Orleans. He can't go do his show. That's stupid, bro. Like, and it's not even me in the situation. It's just making me mad that these people had as much power over people like, bro. And you have no choice but to listen or they're going to take your freedom away. This is modern day slavery, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, bro. You got this, you got, you got this much access to people like my nigga. Is, is the dude a U.S. citizen? Do this dude have all his rights? You know what I'm saying? Is the nigga American? I thought this was a free country. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? But you got all these rights over a nigga life. He must listen to you or take his freedom taken away. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm fully against it. Fully against it. Which is why I made this video. You know what I'm saying? So... I know it's another, a lot of channels that have talked about it. I know I'm late. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to be the first and I ain't trying to be the early. I'm trying to be the realest. You get know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be the first one to do it or the last one to do it. I'm trying to be the most authentic one, my nigga, period. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take my time until I find out the right information and I'm going to bring it whenever y'all want to see it, whenever I'm ready. And if y'all want to watch it, y'all can watch it. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's authentic. A lot of niggas be trying to rush this, put some stuff together just so they can get it out first. Never. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find, okay, okay, bit, okay. So that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say we keep it authentic over here. Hit me on my social media. All links be in the description down below. Drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to give it to more than that, do that. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comment section below what y'all think about this or if y'all think he deserved to be in there or if y'all think, hey, man, that's not right. You feel me? Or if you think, hey, he deserved to be in there, but the way they treat him is not right. You know what I'm saying? Let me know because everybody got everybody got something to say about it and I want to know what y'all boys got to say. Just like I just spoke my mind. I want to see what y'all got to say, man. I got to bring y'all boys some more videos so I know they got to stop the video. Let's get it, man. Nick, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me, real rich. Niggas having pressure by the bitch. I got all my cases dismissed. I don't go back and forth on the internet. Real niggas don't get in on that. I'm tryna get in on my for real. I'm tryna get in on my. Me and my dogs, me and my dogs.